Today's video starts on page 7 of your 2A number theory packet. It is the problem of the day and there are 10 questions that I want you to answer on your own and we will go over those in class tomorrow. So pause the video and answer these true or false. So 3 is divisible by 9, well I know that's false. So let's put all the answers right in this left hand column here. Now that you've completed page 7, let's talk about prime factorization. We saw on page 1 in the packet that a prime number is a number with exactly two factors, one and itself. A composite number is a number with more than two factors. One is not prime or composite because it has only one factor, itself. Zero is neither prime or composite because it has an infinite number of factors. Prime factorization is writing a number as the product of prime numbers. All composite numbers, yes, can be written as the product of prime numbers. And we want to use exponents whenever necessary. So prime factorization. Find the prime factorization of each number. There are two methods, the inverted division method which says, okay, let's start with our composite number 40 and think, okay, what factors are prime that I could take out of that? Well, I start with the smallest one, which is 2. Yes, I can take a 2 out of 40, 2 times 20. And yes, 2 can still come out of 20, 2 times 10. And yes, 2 can still come out of 10, 2 times 5. 5 is a prime number, so I'm going to take that factor out and my chart ends with a 1. That's how I know that I'm done. So 40 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 or better. As I said, let's use exponents when necessary. 2 cubed times 5. Well, 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. So that's correct. The other way, prime factorization, and I don't like to use that term, um, is to use this branch method, and I could start this as 4 times 10, or I could start it as 8 times 5, or I could start it as 2 times 20. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to get my branches down to all prime numbers, which is 2 to the third power times 5. 84 using method 1, the inverted division of primes. So 84, I know, yes, the smallest prime number, I always start with that, has a 2 in it. 2 times 42, oh, 42 has a 2 in it. 2 times 21, oh, not any more 2s, but 3. 3 times 7, and yes, I can pull that 7 out 7 times 1. So 84 is 2 squared times 3 times 7. Prime factorization method with branches, I could start with 2 times 42 or uh, 4 times 21 or eh, let's start with 7 times 12. But you didn't know that one. 4 times 3 is 12 and yes I can pull out two twos there, and I like to write my prime factorization in numerical order with exponents. So 2 squared times 3 times 7. And we will practice prime factorization in class. That's it for today's video.